when Baba called us for a sahwas. And during that sahwas, Baba was not telling anybody to have his embrace or to touch his feet. At that time, when I was actually dining along Dr. Ram Ramsu and one Pakistani uh, must, Baba called me and immediately I rushed into the room and then Baba was saying, I am very happy with your work, carry on the work for some time more. And at that time, Baba said, I can't embrace you because I am in the strict orders that I should not embrace or touch people. But I embraced Dr. Dhanbhati, who is part of me, and when I embrace Dhanbhati, it amounts to that I embrace all. You embrace Dr. Dhanbhati, he said, and I embraced Dr. Dhanbhati at that time. And Baba, Baba at that time, practically I must say, was a, a big light, that's all, and not a human form at all. And he was so the room was flooded with such a beautiful light at that time. This is one occasion I had personal contact with Baba. And there is another occasion I wanted to go and have darshan of Baba from Machilipatnam. And I went all alone to Baba. And peculiarly, by the time I went, Edu's sister was there waiting and she was a cripple. So, I, because she was waiting, I just waited at her and was inquiring as to how she was and all that. Immediately, for um, nobody giving his information, Baba sent Ramakrishna. Ramakrishna came running and said, Baba wants you, Baba calls you. Then I went to Baba with whole heart burning within me that I, didn't, I was not doing much work, that I would not come, I was not coming up to his expectations and all that. Baba put his feet, straightened his feet, put his feet just before me and Baba asked me to bow down before his feet and lay my head on it. Then I was there for some time until Manikya Rao, one friend of mine from Vijayawada, asked me to remove the head because Baba would not be able to bear it for so long a time. I was keeping my head on it with tears rolling from my eyes. That's another occasion. And similarly, a number of times, Baba gave me the sort of Philip. And today, if I say we are here in this present shape, that shape, I must say, is shape which is given to us by Baba alone and nobody else. Whenever I think of Baba, tears well up into my eyes. On the first day itself, when I said, I'm Jeevi Brahma and I do Machilipatnam. I met Baba in 1958, when Baba gave darshan at Sakori. Baba, after long illness, came out to Sakori to give darshan. At that time, we had all to go there. A friend of mine, one Mr. Loknath Rao, wanted me to come and see Baba at that time. So he wrote a letter to Baba, and Baba gave permission to get me to him. And I went to him along with Loknath Rao. Along with Loknath Rao. And in 1958, that Chakwati Darshan was considered to be a very great Darshan, because of long lapse of time, Baba gave the Darshan for the first time. And so, we all went there and received it Sakori by Mr. Adi, Baba's secretary. And during the Darshan, Baba actually was resting his leg on one Mr. Vag, who is the secretary of Upasan, uh, Upasani's disciple, Godavari Mai. At that time, when I felt that that sort of thing was standing in the way of God's work, so immediately I went aside and I was praying to Goddess, whom I was having love for, that that should not happen. And 
the pain which Baba was having could be transferred to me at that time. So, when I was in deep prayer and I opened my eyes up some time, just about 10 minutes or 15 minutes, I saw Baba looking to me very fiercely. And all the time, when I looked at Baba, I myself was having a sort of shiver. And then subsequently, I wanted to go into the darshan and in the queue. The queue was proceeding on single file, one after the other. And I went there along with the queue, and Baba was hurrying up the queue. By the time I went to Baba, Godavari Mai was there by sight. And when I went to Baba, the flowers that were there in my hands were put on Godavari Mai's feet. It's at that time when the flowers were put at Godavari Mai's feet, Baba was looking to me with bent head. I put my garland on Baba. By then I was having these yogic practices. So much so, I was inclined to know the depth of Baba. It was a foolish thought, no doubt, but it was there foremost in my mind. So with that thought, I looked into his eyes. When I looked into his eyes, Baba looked at me and something transpired. I don't know what it is, but there's a big a thousand watt bulb, as if a thousand watt bulb broke. A big effulgent light was there for me and I was all in shivar and perspiration was there at a time when perspiration could not be there. And I was having a reeling sensation and I was about to fall. And at that time, Baba was giving me prasad. And the prasad was given to me three times, not once, twice. And my whole pocket was full with the prasad. Then at that time, in fact, I could have fallen. But at that time, Baba was giving a message through Erich. Erich was saying on the phone, Baba says, and by this message Baba has given, that is, I am the most ancient of the ancients. And Baba said, the relationship between you and me is not of this age at all. This age at all. I am the most ancient of the ancients. The relationship between you and me is not of this age. What all I want from you in this age is that you should love me above yourself. A time will come when you will have to surrender your all to me to gain your all from me. This is the beautiful message Baba gave me on the day. And by the time the message was given to me, Actually, I was perspiring and I was in a mood to fall down. Dr. Kankadindi, one of the oldest lovers of Elor and a sincere lover of Elor, was there by then and Kankadindi caught me into his hands and he immediately he told me, you are blessed because Baba is so particular that he should give you prasad in such a way and all that. I was disturbed. I went up to the a uh, lodge which was provided by Upasani Sashram. And at that time, when I was up, I was not having an inclination to take anything. I was lying down on the bed and I was there for some time. After some time, when the food was being served, people came and told me that I could take my food there, but I was not inclined. After a long time, I came down and immediately I saw Baba being taken and I crouch to the dining hall. Baba asked me a question by his signs as to whether I took my food. I immediately said, no. Baba smiled and signed that I should take my food. I went there and that was the first occasion I had with Baba. That day itself, there was a big meeting at Sakori, wherein the Andhra lovers met Baba in a room which was called Upasani room. And in that room, I was also invited and I was also there. My invitation was very peculiar because I was not concerned with Meher Baba unit at all by then. And Dr. Ganpatra, who is having much love for me, wanted me to go over there. I refused to go because they wanted the congregation to be of only Baba lovers or to be of Baba workers. In fact, as I was not a Baba worker or lover, I declined to go there. 
it was at that time that Dhanpat Rao sent word of brother to just to please Dhanpat Rao. I went there into the room and I was there and the whole congregation was there. Dr. Dhanpat Rao suggested to Baba, Baba bless this young man. And at that time when I was with Baba, Dhanpat Rao wanted me to catch hold of his feet. I went to Baba. Baba was lying as if you see him in one in Ranganath Koyal, that is as we what we call Ranganath Koyal. Baba was lying there. Baba was lying there with a, a simple. He was not having his dress. He was having only a uh, an underwear. And at that time, he wanted me. Dr. Rao wanted me to go near Baba. I went near Baba, and I, when I was with Baba, I couldn't catch hold of his feet because I was very proud. I didn't want to catch hold of the feet of another man. I was taking Baba to be a man and not God at all by then. So when I went to him, I couldn't catch his feet with all my pride. I caught only his shin bones and didn't touch his feet at all. It was at that time, Baba just pressed my body. I was very hefty then. Baba pressed my body on his chest and he kept his hand on my head and he kept his hand like that for about four or five minutes. And after four or five minutes, in fact, the only thought that was then uppermost was, I never asked anything, I never asked Baba to give me anything. The only thing that was there uppermost in my mind was, Baba, you clear me of all these impurities. The impurities were there in me, that's the uppermost thought in me. So I was praying to Baba that he should clear all the impurities in me. And for five minutes I was there, and Baba ultimately, Erich was declaring, Baba says, you'll be Baba's secretary. I wondered. Then everybody was wondering. Everybody was wondering at me. I, I just looked as if the message was for somebody else, and this was put it three times. And ultimately, when you said, "Baba wants to tell you that you will be his secretary. He wants to do his work." And then my work started on my way back. Just a few seconds, I went to the railway station, and from the railway station, the by work started. And during in the railway carriage itself. We started a magazine, that Avatar Meher magazine which we have now, is the magazine which I sponsored in the railway, the railway, um, uh, um, uh, uh, no, in the, um, uh, uh, no, um, railway compartment itself because we were going in a special train and it was at that stage the, I, the work started and I was with Baba for a long, long time and I, he had, he gave me his feet and he gave me his blessings. And to say the least, the shape, the adhyatmic shape which we have internally is what he has been given us and, and that is there in us to bless us always. And Baba is not away from us, Baba is always with us. Wherever we see some God, Godhood or wherever we see some divine light, we see only Baba in that and Baba's light only. Baba is everything for us, and I went to a number of people, and in all the people where there is their greatness, their divinity, I could see only Baba's touch, and Baba is there. In 1958 itself, after organizing about 100 centers in two months, we had the occasion to see Baba 